Hi, my name is Pete from the Divi Engine team. Got an exciting update for Divi Form Builder. We've got now got image radio checkbox feature. This is a great new addition to the Divi Form Builder. And here you can see it in action. You can create nice little um, uh, forms like this. So you can say, okay, actually my service was amazing and I'm happy or I'm not happy. But yeah, so things like, just to make the forms a bit more interesting. So let me show, this video is really quick just to show you how to use the new feature and how to start it up because uh, there's quite a few new options. So let's switch to the visual builder just so you guys can have a look. Have a look. Okay, so we have on here, um, you can see it, it looks nice, looks how it looks on the front end. So let me just uh, go here and let me add a new option for you, just a uh, new radio image as an example. So it can either be a checkbox or a radio. I'm just going to choose radio for now. And I'm going to do guitar as one of my options. Um, sax, saxophone, as, and keyboard. Because I've got some nice images for those. So as by default, you can see it's just the radio option with the checkboxes. So let's scroll down in layout options. Whether it's an image or not, we've added this new feature where you can now push it all in a grid or in one line. So if you say yes, it means you can now change it to any grid column. So I can put it into three, or I can say two. But actually what I want is I want to just put it all in one line. So you can just enable this option here, which just puts it all in a nice line like that. Don't worry about the spacing just yet. We'll get to that. So we have this option uh, in the layout options. Now radio checkbox image option. This is where you need to go. Enable this option over here, and this will give you uh, a, a gallery. So what you want to do is you want to upload your images and choose the gallery you want and add the images. So we have three we have three options up here: guitar, sax, and keyboard. So in here we want to have guitar, sax, keyboard. But you can see actually the saxophone is not correct. So if you just drag it, change the order. It will now be guitar, saxophone, and keyboard. So you can see I've got my images, and they relate to the correct options in order. Just to confirm, first guitar, saxophone, keyboard. So that order would be the same for the images. So if you this option over here, you can still show the radio option if you want. So when they click on it, it'll identify the, the radio option. I'm gonna say no. I want. I don't want to show that. Then you can also choose where you want the image, uh, the, the text, sorry, on top, um, bottom, or even hide it. So you can see over here, I have it on the bottom. On this one, I've hidden it. And on this one, I have it on the top. Okay, so we've got our text, we've got our image. Um, we don't want to show the radio options. So how do we, how do we like, you know, make it clear to the customer that this is the one that they've selected? So in the design tab, uh, there's a couple options here actually you can set the max width and make them equal height if you want but if you go to fields uh, the first thing you know we can select we can choose to have the field text colors red so it's all red great and you can customize the text in there uh, we've added another option radio checkbox active text so you can change this to be blue uh, we at the at this version Right now, it doesn't give you a preview, but in the next versions, we'll work on it to have the Visual Builder show the first one as the active option. So right now, that's blue. So we'll see on the front end in a minute. If you go down to border, you can also change the border. So now, if I want to have my normal one, you can have it as none, but I want to have my normal one as two pixels and I want it actually, I don't want it red, I want it black. Okay. So we're going to have this black and a, a nice border. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't look the best right now, but let's have a look. You also have an active one as well. So on active, actually, I want it to be blue. And I also just want that two pixels. As I mentioned, you can't see the live preview just yet for the active one. So the spacing looks a bit uh, out of whack. Uh, oh, just before I move on to spacing, really, there's another option um, under 
box shadow. You can also say, okay, I want a box shadow for the active one, or, um, you know, that, that looks horrible, but you, you can, you get my idea. You can also add box shadow to the unactive one, but I want to add one to the active one only. Okay, so now I want to go to my spacing because it looks a bit odd over here. And you can add some padding, you know, uh, 10 pixels, 10 pixels, 10 pixels, 10 pixels. And let's add a bit of spacing around the image and the box. So now that's looking quite nice. Um, you can also add a margin in between. So I'm going to add margin right 20 pixels. Uh, I see this is not working on this version, but um, let's have a look. So let's save this and update. That margin right, uh, it works in the front end, just in the visual builder, it's not working at the moment. Um, we'll get it sorted out. I just noticed that bug now. So here we go. So we have our image. It's red, black background. And when we select the one we like, it changes to blue and adds a box shadow like we specified. Just an edit uh, to what I said earlier. You can change uh, the view of the, the active radio image by going in here and selecting whichever one you want then it will show you how it's going to look on the front end so you can see that's how it is and on the front end it will be like that there we go so that looks really good so you can have border you can change border radius you can make a dash you can do whatever you want um, and I think this is a great addition to the form builder and making your forms really interesting for your customers Hope you love it because I think it's amazing. And um, yeah, there's, there's some other cool things you can do. Uh, you could add some uh, custom CSS to animate things, like make them uh, on hover kind of bounce. Uh, you could add a GIF and you could have them as like, like for instance, these smiley faces could be GIFs. That could be quite cool. Uh, anyway, so let us know how it goes and I hope you enjoy this. Any questions, give us a shout um, and uh, log into the support portal and we'll be happy to help. Have a great day. See you soon.